Hello guys, this is Linus Limo Yankee 2 Hotel. If you got a Radio Allocraft KX2, you most probably got the antenna AX1 or probably some incarnation of it, maybe some extra coil added for 40 meters, maybe monoband AX or maybe just homemade similar kind of antenna. Today I'm on the riverbank and I want to test which way of using this antenna is best fixed in the walkie-talkie style on, on your radio directly or fixed let's say on my mini bikes improvised tripod like separate antenna with three uh, counterpoise wires with three radials many people may think this is awfully ineffective antenna it's just a coil and the antenna itself is you know very short comparatively maybe just like one meter and a bit on the other hand i know so many other guys using this antenna or this type of antenna extremely successfully especially if you are on the ocean side somewhere on the seaside uh, at the big water i'm at the river water now uh, so maybe it's not going to be that effect you know that positive effect for my signals the biggest bonus of this type of antenna is that it's so portable so compact it fits into your pocket literally and you can take it anywhere let's see which way is best of using this very compact very short probably very inefficient but still very attractive antenna stay tuned what I'm gonna do first I've connected the antenna straight to my radio in the walkie-talkie style Allocraft's counterpoise like uh, I think it's three meter or something short counterpoise let's uh, start with the 20 meters I'm gonna call CQ for a few minutes maybe and then I hope the reverse beacon network will have been recorded me and I, I'll be able to check you know who was hearing me with this type of setup and then I changed the setup to the remotely, mo remotely mounted antenna and call CQ again and we will see what happens if you need to use the antenna tuner with this antenna maybe you can find a resonance depending on who you are it's designed to use with the tuner and it's you know advised in the manual uh, to use a tuner it's quicker with a, such a great tuner as is installed in the kx2 so it tunes very nicely so let's all right 1.1 to 1 i start with the 5 watts switch the radio off saving the battery and let's go to the reverse beacon network I've been spotted by four stations the loudest signal from me was received by Delta Lima Zero Papa Fox 3 dB signal to noise ratio and the weakest signal was in Italy 941 miles away and it's it was 1 dB okay now let's relocate the antenna quickly to my bicycle setup and repeat the same the same procedure so I disconnected the single counterpoise I'm connecting the antenna after I connected the antenna in the different location I need to retune okay I retune it one 1 1.0 to 1 very nice, the same 5 watts Right, so what do we have on the second attempt? We have very very improved results I would say so with the setup with the antenna mounted on my bike seat and with the three ground radials spread evenly to the three directions on the ground 
So the biggest improvement is for station from Finland, Oscar Golf 66 X-ray, some special call sign. It's uh, 691 miles from here and I getting signal to noise ratio 14 dB while for in the first attempt with the uh, one radial and with the antenna mounted directly on the radio uh, I was getting receiving from Oscar Golf 66 from Finnish station just 2 dB's uh, signal to noise ratio so 12 dB's of improvement over over the different setup you know that's that's a lot that's a lot and I was received also by by the French station with the 11 dB signal to noise ratio I've received a, a report from Siberian station which is uh, almost uh, 1400 miles away with the 3 dB of signal to noise ratio also pretty good report for, for 5 watts I didn't believe it's gonna be like this you know I thought one radio fixed you know to your radio straight to your radio antenna connected directly to the Elecraft KX2 I thought it is gonna be more or less the same but this is a re really a difference you know in some in some occasions from 3 dB's more to, to 12 dB's more than compared to the to the same antenna same location same you know 20 minutes time slot I don't think that the propagation so dramatically and rapidly improved that you know European stations mostly receive me in such dramatic better way so it's obviously the influence of the three uh, radials I wouldn't call them elevated radials because you know they are elevated just a little bit on, on that level but they're not elevated as it should be like you know elevated radial is like uh, the whole radio goes elevated the farthest end should be like three feet one meter one meter height then you can call it elevated so that's that's great Four four nine. Okay, he got everything fine. Yes, fine. Great QSO. QRP to QRP. Me running 5 watts into AX1 antenna with the three ground radios on the ground. And this is the French station running 5 watts too. All right, so that's the setup. My mini e-bike partially folded in order to be standing. This is antenna AX1 fixed to the e-bike's seat by the means of this special clamp is from the GoPro camera collection and this is Elecraft KX2 transceiver with a improved or improvised tuning knob I found it on the Thingiverse and 3D printed myself alright guys so summing up uh, Elecraft KX2 is a great radio for outdoorsy operations. Elecraft AX1 antenna is a good antenna to make even QRP to QRP contacts. Today's experiment showed that actually it does matter how do you mount the antenna onto your radio or onto something else you know with the radials. I was surprised today to, to discover during this experiment 
that if you run the AX1 antenna installed like a antenna for walkie-talkie with one uh, radial you know like tailing behind you <laughs> and you do the pedestrian mobile or something uh, this setup works but it works much worse than the setup of improvised you know like a tripod it's not a tripod it's my mini e-bike today it's also almost the same height as would a as would be you know operating walkie-talkie style but three radios three ground radios make a difference the bike seat version versus walkie-talkie version could be 12 db difference for the benefit of uh, <laughs> seat seat version so guys thanks for watching it was pleasure pleasure doing this experiment outdoorsy summer's full swing it's pretty hot but it's it's manageable so if you got a any radio not necessarily kx2 whatever qrp radio improvised telescoping whip not necessarily aircraft ax1 so uh and you can go and you can go and enjoy nice weather and enjoy a radio enjoy contacts and learn something about the wave propagation thanks for watching please leave comments in your comment section if you want a super thank please find a super thank button uh, below below the description so peace and victory for ukraine and see you in my next video 73 72 and see you later this is linas limoyanki 2 hotel cheerio